Hello, my name is William Addis, and for the past three to four months, I have been doing um, two of my three goals that I'm supposed to be doing, which is perfectly fine. My health goal is to drink 70 ounces of water a day, and I've done perfectly on that. 70 ounces of water a day, because that is my weight divided by two. Or, when I started, that was my weight divided by two. Uh, my second goal that I have been doing is cardio workouts for 15 minutes a day. I have done this for five days a week, excluding Saturday and Sunday. Now, health, let's, let's talk health. Now, Health is when you get the basic nutrients that you need, the basic vitamins and basic nutrients that your body cannot create um, to survive. And to be healthy, you eat regularly and, um, you know, all of that. Now, fitness, fitness is a little different, or a lot different, because it has nothing to do with how you eat. Fitness is being physically active. That's as simply as you could put it. Um... Because when you're physically active, you're not sitting around all day. You, you, you get your blood pumping and you burn some calories. That is fitness. Now, in order to measure my goals, my water and my cardio, it's really simple. Um, so let's say I've been doing it for four months, um, the 70 ounces of water a day. Uh, well, if that's the case, then... Um, you know, you just take four months and you total up, uh, and you multiply it by 70, and yeah, that's a lot of water. And then you convert it to ounces. Anyway, fitness, I've been doing 15 minutes a day for cardio on our exercise bike for, uh, I'd say about four and a half miles each day. So, yeah, we're going a little on a tangent here. Let's get started with the video goal basically what happens you just drink 70 ounces of water a day which is plenty it's that's about how much I need not you 70 ounces of water a day this will ensure that you get enough water well not 70 it depends on how much you, you take your weight you divide it by two and it's pretty good you take your weight, you divide it by two, and you know, yeah. We'll get some for the cat too. <laughs> because you need to drink water too. Now another one of my goals is fitness, exercise, cardio. Riding a bike is cardio. That is plenty, plenty of cardio. Um, literally doing it for 10 minutes a day or 15, 30 minutes a day is enough for you. That's how much cardio, that's how much time you should exercise every single day. But, you know, it's pretty simple. Cardio is the way you need to go because in turn, you burn calories. You see 10 miles right there. You burn calories. Calories are the way to go. 381 calories in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. But what else is left? I, I really think the last thing we can address here is how I've been doing on my goals. Personally, I've only done two of my goals, which I could have done better. I could have done more of them, but, you know, I really didn't. I didn't feel like doing the last one, you know. My last goal was actually shooting my bow every day. But that plan kind of fell through, and I didn't do it. Uh, and really, how do I measure what's come from my goals? Like, what did I achieve? What did I... Cat, you're crazy. What did I achieve from doing my goals? Me. Well, I, I didn't really achieve anything. Personally, I didn't lose any weight. I feel better, but I didn't lose weight. And you can't really base it off of weight. Personally, you can't do that because, you know, what are you doing? Get off of me. Cat, not now. You're the star of the show later. Listen. People will think that, oh yeah, if I work out, I'm going to lose weight. 
but if you don't normally work out, you're not really going to lose any. You'll, lo you'll burn fat, and you'll notice that, but you'll gain weight. And people like to base it off of weight, which isn't really the thing to do. Because if you're working out constantly and burning all that fat, you're not going to lose weight. You're going to gain weight because muscle weighs more than fat. So, I think that wraps it up here. I didn't really do well on my goal. I did my goals, but there's nothing really measurable about them other than the fact that I feel better myself. I feel better about myself for what I've been doing. Um, you know, drinking the 70 ounces of water a day, I can't really explain it. It just makes me feel like I have more energy. And, uh, you know, if you drink soda and tea and you don't really drink that much water a lot, you'll actually lose water weight. Um, and you'll feel lighter, too, just by drinking the amount of water you need daily. Uh, you know, and that, and the fitness, I've definitely been able to go farther for longer um, because I've been doing that every single day. But, you know, I, I say I did good on them. I feel better, but they're not really measurable. But, what we can do. We can see how much water and how how long I have done car cardio in the past four months. Look here. Um, you know, you have typically 30 days in a month. Now, we, if I've been doing this for four months, you multiply that by four, you get 120 days of doing this. Now, if I'm drinking 70 ounces of water a day, then let's... I have drank 80... 84,000, 8,400 ounces of water every single day. Get off the counter. Anyway, now, what about the fitness? Well, if I'm only doing it five days a week, um, and in four months, a month you typically have four weeks, um, so four months, uh, hang on a minute. You know what, let's just say I've been doing it seven days a week. It'll make it a lot easier. So, we have 120 days that... Oh, crap. 100 and... Crap. 120 days, like I mentioned earlier. This video's going on like seven minutes. Who cares? Um, and we multiply that by 15 minutes a day. I've ridden the bike. What are you doing? I've ridden the bike for 1,800 minutes. That's, that's quite a long time. We could go even further and figure out how many hours. There are, here, we divide it by 60. I've rode the bike for 30 hours in four months. And that about wraps it up. So, 